We know that boundary setting in the real world is important to our children. It provides children with consistency and predictability and makes them feel safe. So one of the things about the online world is it's much harder for us to control, much harder for us to make sure that children are following the rules and sticking to the boundaries. So we have to rely on children managing themselves in those settings. So if we start setting rules early, they become habits and children start to learn to self-discipline rather than needing us to do it for them. It also helps to make them feel valued and helps them to feel important. So hopefully children will value themselves enough to keep themselves safe, both in our communities, but also online. So they start to stop and think and consider whether a particular behaviour is a good idea or not. One of the important things that we can do is modelling good online behaviour ourselves. It's asking ourselves questions about whether we set time limits for our time online. What are our privacy settings? Do we keep ourselves safe online? Do we keep our private information to ourselves? We can often talk to our children about what we do as good examples. We need to think about what rules are non-negotiable and we need to be clear with our children what those are. One of the examples I like to use about online safety is imagining that your online world is on a big TV screen on a busy high street near you. And talking to young people saying, what would you want complete strangers to see about your world if they walk past that TV screen? What would you be mortified if they knew? Because it helps children to think before they type something or engage in something online or share something, who do I want to see this? And what might happen if it falls into the wrong hands? The crucial thing is to talk to our children and listen to them. Sometimes they can have great ideas themselves and also share with you some of their views and some of their experiences which you won't know about unless you talk to them. We need to ensure we have a good enough relationship with our children, that we are open to conversation with them, that they can keep themselves safe online, and we can trust them to do the right things.